All right, the old super cheap super duty here is becoming a receptacle for all types of things. But can you pick out the thing we're going to use today? I'll tell you right after this. Welcome back. If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Ross the Oliver Man. And in the back of the old Super Cheap Super Duty are two batteries. I'm getting tired of using the jump pack on the 1855, so today is the day. We are going to swap out batteries. And yeah, still not feeling great, but we gotta keep going. So, how much of a struggle is this going to be? Well, I'm pretty sure that my bolts are rusted off. So, I'm going to have to investigate that problem. And I was thinking that I had another set of these but maybe I don't I'll have to dig and find out but yeah they're garbage so that's the end of that now people are always mystified when they see batteries connected this way and I may have, be, have talked about that before but it's really not that difficult to understand these are each a 6 volt battery and we have connected them together to make a 12 volt battery so you got your negative here and then the positive side of that battery goes to the negative of this one and then your positive comes out here and you have voila a 12 volt battery and that's the way it was used to of course today there are much better options for 12 volts however uh, what am i trying to say if i did that it wouldn't fit in the battery box just right with my lid and everything and i kind of like it to look the way it's supposed to so that's why we're doing what we're doing I suppose it also gains you some, like cranking amps, you know, capacities, or I don't know what the correct word is, amps. I want this off of there. I want you to play ball with me. Come on. And you're not doing that thing. Gonna struggle. Table that one for a second. And table it. And we're gonna struggle the whole way, friends. See, I'm arcing out now because I can't disconnect the side of the battery I need to disconnect. Oh. Wonderful. What am I gonna do? Come on. 
Jeez. We can get one out of our way anyway. Then we're down to one troublemaker. And I don't know, oh, I see why, dum dum. Because I didn't take the right one loose. This one's got the other side of that plug for my baler on it. So I gotta take that off first. That would make a big difference. <coughs> that would make a big difference. Or not. Or not. Come on. Come on, you. There. Ah. <coughs> well, I'm probably going to stop here with recording because this is a nasty mess and I can't leave it that way so I'm going to clean that up and I'm going to clean the top piece up and then probably meadow greenify it a little bit and then tomorrow we'll slap these back in there so yeah that's what we're going to do because that's the only right thing to do I don't want there I want to get rid of some of this garbage and build up and the whole work so sure but yeah this is where we'll leave it and I'll bring you back tomorrow all right 24 hours has passed and we've got this all meadow greened again I think when I did that last time I tried spraying some of that rubberized undercoating on there knowing that it would get nasty and rusty from battery you know acid like that that stuff didn't hold up at all so I just went ahead and painted it back with green paint because yeah so let's get the battery set in there and hopefully we got enough stuff I found some of these homemade ones I'm hoping are long enough otherwise I'll have to get some in town or get a piece of all thread to make some so yeah really exciting I know get in there. sure now I brought along my cable cleaner just to go ahead and You know, not do a good job on that. That's pretty good. Some of that crusty stuff that was on that lid stuck to my wrench. About impossible to get it off of there. I should have put the crossover cable on first, but oh well, live and learn. The only thing I have to watch is that I don't arc it out when I connect it over there on the other one. Whoops, I didn't do something I wanted to do. So we're going to take it off anyway. Nice do-over. 
let's start. Let's start again. <laughs> oh, I almost did it again. How about we use our brain this time, friends? But that's what I was wanting to do. I don't know that those things actually really work, but they make it look like you care, you know? Sure. Well, we just dropped something else I'm sure was important, but maybe we'll find that back later. Whatever it was. This, of course, has to have that uh, wire for my baler needs hooked up. I bet that was the nut that I just knocked off. Because I don't see it here. So that's really unfortunate, isn't it? Hello, where are you? All right. We're getting there, friends. We're getting there. We just have to... Use our common sense again. <clears throat> All right. That one ain't very good, but. better <coughs> I don't like them to touch each other if possible because if they would vibrate through you know fire but the likelihood of that happening is very low that's a lot of rubber to to work through two different cables Come on. Oh, yeah. I remember. I remember the struggles that we're going to have. Yeah. Probably make sure that hole is open first. I don't think that's going to be long enough. I was afraid of that. All right, well, I'm going to have to get some supplies tomorrow morning in order to finish this because my bolts are not long enough. And the really sad part is I have a brand new pack of this stuff laying around. It's been in my way for several years, and I keep moving it out of the way, and now I can't find it when I need it, of course. But uh, let's... Uh, yeah. Let's see if we got something. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Back 
Echo of Sadness. Oh yeah. at idle. All right. So, we're actually, I don't think this is a tremendous amount of footage, so we're actually going to take it and go dig another hole for somebody, so I think I'll put that at the end of this video. Like I said, tomorrow morning I'll, I'll stop and get some more of these. I've made them out of all thread and I've also just bought these ones off the shelf in the universal like battery kit. And they work just as good because uh, they all do that, what those did right there. They all rust off just because of the, you know, battery acid. That's what you're gonna have, so yeah. But we'll call this part here and I'll bring you back in a second when we take it to go actually do something, so. We'll be back in just a minute. I guess another thing to say real quick is some people are going to be like, oh my gosh, you spent more money on batteries. That was about $300 for those. And it is not worth $300 worth of aggravation to have to jump this tractor every time I want to use it. So, yeah, it was money well spent. All right. If you'll sit there for a second. I managed to get some new bolts that I am hoping are gonna do what we want we're gonna have to do a viewer mail segment before too long because I just got some more stuff today and I'm getting quite the pile we're gonna have to sort through now of course there it is I'm gonna say I the first thing I did was drop one of the wing nuts that's great I had this all worked out in my brain how easy this would be and it ain't it's not working that way so let's take this back off there that one's there crawl under and tighten them and we should be good to go all right sure Fire it up. We gotta chain this up, so.
trying to top it off with some hydraulic fluid because we lost a little change in lines. And then we'll be on our way. instructions here are to dig a hole right here about arm's length deep or until we hit the water line in which case then he will cut it off and reroute it where he wants it because it's leaking inside here somewhere so that is what the plan is we'll see what happens
that's way more than arms like deep and I have not hit a water line unless I totally sheared it off and never noticed it but I doubt it so I don't really know what to do here other than just let him hand dig it now wherever he thinks it's got to be I mean I got a pretty good hole for him to work in here but I don't really know what to do According to where his hydrant is, I should have intersected this somewhere in this hole. And I have not done that thing. So, I'm not digging up the whole world. It's hot out here in the sun. <laughs> I don't even know if this is a good idea. Because I may not be able to get out of this hole. But... You want to know what the soil's like here? It's clay. I mean, this has got a little bit of other stuff mixed in it, but you can see the clay. And you could just about, it's about like Play-Doh. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the water thing's right there. Somewhere in here I should have hit it. I don't know what to do. My biggest hurdle now is going to be getting back out of this hole. That was a stupid thing to do. Well, somewhere along that process, I splashed mud all over myself here. But anyway, that was a failure. I mean, I dug, and you didn't probably see, uh, I showed you that hole was about six foot deep, and it was not there. And then I ended up digging out almost the entire width of the doorway after he got there, and we still didn't find it, so... Either that line gets a lot deeper as it exits the building or it doesn't come from that way and he's not remembering that right. I don't know. But you would think based on where the end was that he did dig up where the hydrant is when he put the new hydrant in you would think it was going in that direction because that's where the water would be coming from. The only other possibility maybe is that I'm wondering, years ago there was a water farther back in that shed and I'm wondering if that water line came from inside and then curled around, which seems kind of strange, but who knows. But yeah, it'll dig a hole. You just got to have the stuff there that you're trying to find. Otherwise, it's kind of pointless, but we did our part, so that's all we can do. Do you enjoy seeing a basic white man in his middle 30s struggling at life? If so, hit that thumbs up and leave us a comment because all of that stuff is supposed to help us out and grow the channel and we can keep making more stuff like what you just saw. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.